people, Cindy here, and I am feeling amazing. Things in my life have finally been looking up. <laughs> like, you know how I said that I want to be a flight attendant? That's my dream job, you know, I just love traveling. My favorite kind of traveling is air travel. Yeah, well, I started volunteering at the airport that I want to work at. <laughs> I'm planning on starting to work with Delta. Yep, Delta Airlines. <laughs> it's personally my favorite airline. Just me, personally. But yeah, I was like, really awesome! <laughs> yes, I am wearing yoga stuff. <laughs> I got you special yoga socks. <laughs> and yep, I'm back. <laughs> because I've been trying to start with yoga, because I heard that well, it relaxes you, it can hurt your body more, and you still can't really see much of my body just with like my yoga stuff on, but I'm not really proud of how my body looks right now. So I'm doing yoga to hopefully tone up my body a bit and feel more relaxed because of me having because of me having ADHD, my emotions can be hard to regulate at times. So I'm just hoping yoga and meditation will help that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool too. I'm gonna vol so I'm volunteering in an airport. I am uh, starting out yoga, and I am also continuing to learn German. And then, uh, actually, one of the volunteers at the airport, he's actually from Germany, and she's willing to help me out with more German stuff. <laughs> I'm the youngest there by far with the volunteers, though. <laughs> Honestly. Everyone else is either retired or close to retirement. <laughs> well, I'm here to just, well, I'm doing it there, just a 19 year old. <laughs> but it's gonna be well worth it. I am so excited for the coming, for the time coming up. After, since I want to be a flight attendant for Delta, I have to wait until I'm 21 because that's the age limit. And I don't have a flight, uh, a height limit. For Delta, which makes me happy because I'm only like between a five foot and five foot one. <laughs> so yeah, I just really want to do a job that makes that lets me fly around on planes a lot and be able to travel a lot. Because there are so many countries and so many different states of the U.S. that I want to visit. Actually, I think it would be pretty cool to visit every state of the fifty states and then. Also travel the world. There's at least one country within every continent and within every region that I want to visit. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm so excited. But first I need to get my passport and all that, but I can do it. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Like I went from a depressed <laughs> from a girl that was really scared. A girl that was scared of her own father when he got mad because he used to be an alcoholic. And now, to a girl that had to move down to the Twin Cities area in, in Minnesota, who had to go to a school with over 2,000 students in high school. A girl that got bullied by six guys when I got when I moved down here. A girl that had to be, face. All kinds of bullying, including sexual harassment, without the people even noticing. And I'm here. <laughs> I'm here doing yoga, learning a different language, and following my dream of being a flight attendant. <laughs> it was looking out. It really is. I'm so happy. I'm also happy to see. Uh, other family and friends of mine having a better life too. I'm only 19, so I have like a year and five months. About. <laughs> well, I guess it's a little under five months now because I was born on the 8th, on January 8th. So I have a year and a little under five months until I can be a flight attendant. But this volunteering at the airport is definitely going to give me a push up because I'm only because I'm gonna be able to meet all kinds of airport staff and I'm gonna probably be able to talk to quite a bit of flight attendants 
on tips and stuff on how to become a flight attendant. And some of them, some of them only look like a couple inches taller than me, which really encourages me. It's like, yes! <laughs> Because I, if you would meet me in real life, I am really short. I'm like between, I'm like 5.25 feet tall. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really short. <laughs> you can blame my dad and my aunt birth mom for that though. My dad's only 5'6 and my aunt birth mom, she's 5 foot even. So, yeah. You can blame my birth friends if you want to. I someone to blame for my shortness. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Things are looking up. <laughs> I'm so excited for the future. I used to be so scared for the future, like honestly my depression was so bad when I was in ninth grade, I didn't even think I'd graduate. I thought I'd commit suicide before that. But now look at me. I'm a nineteen year old, I'm Getting more and more content with my life. I'm on the proper medication to help me out with my ADHD and depression. I'm starting out with yoga so I can be more proud of my body. I'm finally taking the correct steps to become a flight attendant. <laughs> like, man. <laughs> I can't believe this is actually happening. <laughs> and then, yeah, I broke up with my boyfriend, but honestly, my life has been better since. Like, I know that I was more stressed in the relationship than I was without being in a relationship. So I thought, yep, break up. So yeah, like, I'm single. I'm gonna find peace within myself. <laughs> and I'm really happy. Like, my, my depression and my ADHD is still there, but... They aren't as apparent as they used to be, which we, which makes me really happy. Makes me really confident that the medicine really is working. <laughs> yeah. I hope all of you guys are having uh, as much luck as I am in life right now. I'm always willing to talk to anyone. Like, yeah, thanks for watching. And if I'm not uploading a video in a while, I'll probably upload more videos to come. I just... I just don't know what to really upload my videos on when I watch upload videos. I just, I'm just like, I don't know what to upload, so. <laughs> maybe suggestions? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you. Thanks for watching.